that's on the line tonight in front of a big crowd here in Colorado Springs. And the switchbacks in their powder blues will kick us off going from left to right on this final night of the regular season. Both, well, both Stephen Hogan and Juan Guerra talked about finishing on a high note, trying to take some momentum into the postseason. Stephen Hogan actually had a great comment that Juan Guerra and him will likely have a drink after the game is over. They're so close as far as their friendship is concerned. And the switchbacks could get the opening chance here. It's in behind, and it's the opening goal. Juan Tejada strikes against Phoenix yet again. Armenian international playing in more of a central role here tonight. And Lacroix with a great play here on the left. Initially, he's able to move past Cuello, then takes his time, makes the right decision, and it's a nice finish inside the box for Tejada. Just very well executed play here. A lot of credit, of course, to Lacroix as he moves forward and provides an outlet for his team. And the final touch from Tejada. Great effort, incredible. That late night window is gonna be tremendous, no question. Oakland against El Paso, Miami needing a result against the Western Conference regular season winners in Sac Republic in Sacramento. So plenty of drama still to come in our game, but of course in the night sections as well. Miami's also one of those teams, you know, late surging in the season. You don't want to face in the first round because they got nothing to lose, and yet they're in very good form. Formella just tried to thread the ball through for Manuel Artiago, who almost did the splits as he tried to get on the end of it. But it goes back into the possession of Colorado Springs, and they might have some room to work with here on the far side. Jairo Enriquez cutting in field. Fjellberg tried to make one more pass. In the end, he was thwarted. But it falls for Jairo Enriquez again, and he scores! This man just scores tremendous goals seemingly every week now, Jairo Enriquez. It's not the only option, and that tells you a lot about this team. You battle through the middle, Enriquez knows exactly what he wants to do. But let me tell you, he has two more choices on the right side because it's Kondrich and Foster made a run. That opened up plenty of room for him to find some space for Phoenix. Has to be forced back ever so slightly, but he gets the ball back from Zambrano and he's bundled over. Feldberg and Chapman involved in the challenge. And the referee is gonna go to his pocket here. Jay Chapman is going to see yellow. First player, square pass to Hernandez. Formella on the return. Trejo in behind. Great ball across, it's chopped down. Skundrich clears it, right to Cuejo. Oh, fantastic save by Herrera game because it really <laughs> looks like one right now. It's back and forth. Trejo, good yes, ball yeah. here. Then Skundrich with a rare mistake, clearing the ball through the middle and just allowing one more opportunity here to Quay. Chapman tries to facilitate the clearance. Enriquez finds Speedy Williams, but there was a little push in the back. And Phoenix will get a free kick in a pretty advantageous spot here. That's going to be a yellow card as well for the goal scorer, Jairo Enriquez. Show. It's going to let one fly. It actually went through the wall for the switchbacks. We're going to see some movement from, from the bench. I think fresh legs are needed. Um, I think this is the perfect scenario to give opportunities to some of those players that you know maybe didn't have a lot of minutes in, in the regular season. Great pace by Duke Lacroix to keep that in play and keep switchbacks moving in the right direction. Lacroix into the middle, and it was dangerous. It still might be. Fjellberg picks up the pieces. It's still Fjellberg! And he sends it wide of the post after some great work to keep the play alive. An opportunity to start on the left side. The ball comes in. This is the second chance opportunity now for Fjellberg. Controls the ball. Foster right next to him, and he can play. The shot that goes just wide. Rios Novo under some pressure was able to get the ball away. Another strong performance from Jairo Enriquez. He was on a yellow card, but he also put together his... As well, taking a shot between so many defenders was very important. Switchbacks looking for another one here. Speedy Williams from Lacroix. Chapman on the recycle. Back to Speedy Williams. 
He's going to shovel this into the penalty area. Lacroix stays onside this time, and this time Tejada on the doorstep. He's denied by Rios Novo, but may have made contact with the frame. Well, a beautiful feed here from Speedy Williams. And similar to the first goal, Lacroix with the feed looking for Tejada. Just a, a different angle this time. So it's down to the players, but it's also down to the facility and the great crowd that they get here week in and week out at Widener Field. And it's been a huge boost for them. They'll be without them in the playoffs in all likelihood as it, oh, it boils over here at the tail end of the game, pushing and shoving between multiple sets of players here. Totally unnecessary at the end. Fuenmayor, maybe out of frustration, gets a yellow card there. So the Diversus Health yellow card. Remember to take a moment to breathe. And it's full time here at Widener Fields. A very strong performance to finish the regular season for the Colorado Springs.